Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Fritz here, and here's our lab, the phase change lab. So what we have here is we have a beaker full of ice on a hot plate. We have a thermometer and a graph all attached to it. Usually we would do this in class, but we're going to do this this way. So instead of writing stuff down, just pay close attention and let's see what happens. Listen to some good facts and some information that comes up. Now, as you can see, we are heating up the water by adding uh, heat from the hot plate directly to the ice. It was all ice. Now, ice or frozen water is very special on Earth because it takes a solid form at zero degrees Celsius. So when you go from a liquid to a solid, at zero degrees Celsius, it freezes. Now, the opposite is true. What's the opposite of freezing? Melting, and that's what we're observing right now. So the thermometer is in there. Uh, the ice is melting. We can see the temperature going up and down right now, and that's because the ice is adjusting because some of the ice melt, it falls. The thermometer moves its spot, so we're going to see a little bit of up and down with our temperatures in our graph. You can see, as you can see, the data on the side is taking the temperature every second or so. But I've also sped up this video quite a bit, about 600%, so that we're not sitting here for 30 minutes. Now, the temperature looks like it came down a little bit again because that's really cold water, but it's not zero. You can see most of the solid ice has left. Uh, there's a few chunks of solid in there, but now we've went from a solid to a liquid, and that is called melting. You guys have written that down in your notes, and you have had lots of experience. Now, if you look at the graph right now, we're starting to get a constant melt line. Now, remember when I said that water is very special because at zero degrees it freezes? Well, it also, between zero and 99.99999, is a liquid that's degrees Celsius. Between 0 and 99.99 degrees, it's a liquid. Now, we're still in the liquid state, but it's heating up. And what are we doing? There's two types of vaporization that we're learning about. Boiling and evaporation. And right now, we're using the boiling technique to change this from a, from a liquid. Now, we're going to start seeing some other things happening. So the temperature continues to go up as we continue to watch. The water now, it will, the, the H2O is completely in the liquid form. You might see some condensation on the side of the beaker because some of those particles have gotten up to speed. Now, all of the particles aren't going to be at the same speed at the same time. So some of those particles of the water are going to heat up a little faster than other ones. Just That's how it is. If you've jumped into a pool or a lake, some parts are colder than others. Well, this is how this is working. You're starting to see some of the steam. That's vaporized water there. Now, that vaporized water is the gaseous state of the liquid water. Okay, So it's Coming off the top, it's boiling and circulating. We call that a convection heat, where the heat circulates through there, and we're starting to steam up the, the beaker there. Okay, Now, you can see that we have a pretty solid tread line. Okay, We started at zero, it went up a little bit, came down, and now we have a very strong tread line in our graph. And that's the kind of graph you would see. That is indicating that over time, the temperature in the beaker is getting hotter. Now, as you can see, we're starting to boil. We can see the bubbles. Ignore that bing. We're starting to bubble. That's the boiling. So some of that is already it's starting to become a gas. It's at that temperature. And if you notice, now the graph is going flat. And what temperature does that look like it's at? It's at 100 degrees Celsius. And why is that? Because water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. That's what's so great about the metric system, is that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. It'll also condensate if it's coming down in temperature. So it'll turn back into a liquid once it's all done there. And that's what we have here. We've started as a solid, we went to a liquid, then a gas.